I, I feel like this. I feel like, you know, you come to Coastal Carolina or whatever program it may be, and you, you ask your guys, hey, you want a, uh, an opportunity to play for a division championship on the last game of the year? Or you control your destiny. If you win, you're in, and you control it, and you play for the championship, would you sign up? Most guys would say yes. Well, now we got an opportunity. The ball's in our court, and, uh, you know, it's we got to go take care of business. Stun fans, it's as simple as this. Win on Saturday, and you are the East Division Sun Belt champions. Plain and simple, no asterisks, no nothing. It's just an outright division championship. Now, is the pathway going to be easy? No, not at all. JMU is good, good. All right, don't don't think for a second that they're not good, good. They're well coached. They're very well coached. Very disciplined team. They play really hard. They're physical. Um, it's why they you can see why they won a lot of games. They don't beat themselves. They're one of the top teams in the turnover margin. They're really good on all specialty units in the top four or five in all of them. Um, you know, they do a great job on offense to get their playmakers the ball. Quarterbacks dynamic. Um, and defensively, they're, they're really good up front. They do a really good job with their D-line and linebackers. They got some of the best defensive linemen in the country. And yes, yeah, some of them might, one of them might be hurt and out, but that D line is still good, good. Their quarterback is like Stetson Bennett, years old. Um, <laughs> I don't know if he's got any grandkids yet or not, but he's like about 25, I think, um, at least 24 years old. So he's definitely experienced. He knows how to throw the pass and can uh, run when needed. I believe he also leads the team in, in rushing scores. So JMU is loaded. Now it's none of it's none of Coastal's business if they have the "woe is me" mentality, shame on us, or we'll, we'll feel sorry, pity party for us or not. It's Coastal's job to show up. You got one game, as Coach Beck said. You got one game, and you win. You are the East Division champions, and you get to play Troy. Who would not want to sign up for that? Additionally, I'm going to throw this out there. Coastal fans, make sure you are traveling this weekend, not home from grandma's house, but to Brooks Stadium, because there's going to be a lot of purple there. I just know in my gut feelings there's going to be a lot of purple. I personally know of a, of a few that are actually going to be there in purple, supporting the, the visitor side team, to put it nicely. They travel well. They always have. They always will. And I don't suspect them to not travel this weekend just because of some NCAA ruling and a loss last week at home breaking their undefeated streak. Okay. They're still going to travel well. We need to pack Brooks Stadium. You need to wear the teal, support the seniors, the whole nine yards. Hey, I'm going to be there early. My senior gets to be recognized for his four and a half seconds of fame, maybe even three and a half seconds of fame. And that's going to be senior announcements start at 2.30. So get in early. If you see me there, great. Say hello. Come up to me. Uh, happy to talk to everybody that, that watches these videos and supports these videos. But it's going to come down to just want. I mean, there, there's nothing schematic that you need to know besides JMU is good, good on both sides of the ball, and there's reasons why they are 10-1. and one. Coastal, mostly healthy. Grayson's still out, but they're both – I mean, it, it's going to be a game-time decision of who Coach Beck puts underneath the center. wouldn't surprise me if you see both, honestly. It, it's now going to be just who's more prepared, who's ready, and who, who's going to just fight to the end for the full 60 minutes and possibly even into overtime. I mean, I don't mean to undersize the the actual matchup of the game, but schematically speaking, we know what they're going to do and what their strengths are. Their strengths are throwing the ball, and their strength is defensive line. Coastal knows its strength. Hey, it's one of the best in time possession. It's one of the best of balancing it out. And their strength has really gotten since October their entire defense. Ben, don't break and uh, hold down points. It's going to be a good game. And if you're available, please be there. Be loud. If you're traveling back, 
dorms are open. So there's really no excuse why you can't be there. Share this out to your people. Share this out to your followers. Hit the like. Hit the follow. End the regular season on a positive and go play for a Sun Belt Championship against Troy. Sean's up.